Well, hello there guys. My name is Fat Ninja Turtle and today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make a real shadow in After Effects. So, when I mean real shadow, I mean like a proper one. So, people, you can make a a shadow in After Effects really sim really simply, but you can make it look nice by doing this technique. So, what I have here is just my 3D text or 3D thing, motion tracked, and uh, I'll show you what it is like in the composition. Basically, it's just the text layer uh, multiplied a lot of times. It's just um, something my friend made for me in Cinema 4D because my Cinema 4D broke, so I can't make nice text. And whoopsie. And then it's just the Enjoy logo, which I use for the Enjoy my Enjoy Mitt. I think that's what his name is. Uh, I use that for his edit. I had this motion track at like one uh, at a point. Jesus Christ, can't talk. I had it at like 53 seconds in and just had it. And it just said Enjoy MTT and yeah. So I just have the layers um, multiplied a few times, and um, yeah, that's basically all I did. And here it is in the composition, it's just motion tracked. So I'll show you what I did to um, make the shadow. So first of all, you have to have two uh, text layers. So this one, I just put a color correction on it, so I'm just going to delete that actually. So basically this one, it just has glow and some magic bolt looks, so it looks nice. So if I just turn it off, all it is is a shadow. So I'll go onto this layer and I'll just delete that. Okay, then you're going to go on your 3D text layer and I'm going to hit Command D so it duplicates. Then I'm going to go effects to presets and hit drop shadow, but I'm not going to uh, drag it on yet. I'm just going to go to 3D text, I'm going to delete these two because you don't want your shadow to look really shiny. Then I'm going to bring it on to my bottom 3D text layer. Okay, now this part is the part that gets really annoying and tricky. So I want to hit shadow only. So basically it's just the shadow, but that's why I have two layers. And then for distance, it really it's really up to you. I did about 50, so now you can see it further. And to make it on the ground, what I did is hit 3D text. I hit R because it's already a 3D layer. And on the Y rotation, Oh no, not for this one, sorry. I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, yeah. On this rotation, I put negative 90, so it's on the ground. And then you might want to bring this down to zero if the rotation was different than the other one. Then you want to hit P for position. You want to drag it, no, sorry, drag it down a bit. And maybe you might even want to bring it back so it looks like it's uh, lined up. And yeah, that looks pretty good. You can also add um, a curves or a levels. What it's up to you. They both do the basically the same thing. You can add a curves onto the 3D text, and you want to make sure it's on uh, alpha because that makes it darker if it's just black and white. And you want to bring it down a little bit like that. So it just faded a bit. So it's up to you if you want that or not. I like it when it's faded a bit. And uh, that's really it, guys. It's really simple. It looks nice. And then you can add your color correction. No, that's not my color. No, sorry. You can add your color correction so it looks nice. And everything else is different. But I have a color correction in the text so it looks nice itself. I'm just going to get rid of that. And then I had some strokes just because they look nice. So that's really it, guys. Um, I might make a tutorial on how to make the strokes, um, like how to um, track it into 3D space. But it, that's just a really simple tutorial, guys. And um, if you guys have any, have any questions about how to do it, just um, leave your comments in the comment section below. And um, I just want to tell you guys that when I hit 300 subs, so some guy on sub, whatever. But uh, when I hit 300 subs, so that's in 15 subs, wouldn't 14 today, but someone on sub for some reason. But when I hit when I hit 300, I'm gonna host an editing contest. And uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't editors, and I'm aware of that. But what I'm gonna do is in the link uh, in the description of when I post up the editing contest I'll have the link to the clips, the link to get Sony Vegas, the link to get After Effects on Mac and PC don't worry guys I'm gonna have a lot of stuff prepared for you so even if you're not an editor um, I'm gonna get everything prepared for you just so all you gotta do basically is be as creative as possible and there's a million tutorials on YouTube on how to do stuff so you guys can just be creative and if you don't know how to do something just search it on YouTube and yeah so thank you guys for watching, have a nice day, and see you guys sometime soon.